This dictionary was split in two by request and for ease of viewing. If you have not seen part one, check the description for that. Otherwise, let's continue. AF Armor Artifact Armor Class and Job Based Gear Sets even gatherers and crafter classes can get these. They are special armor sets meant to evoke what you currently are. White mages, for example, have a very well-known look of white and red robes. AF gear will all be white and red robes, but with unique twists of each set. Relic. Special weapons with long grinds attached, part of the endgame. Each expansion comes with a different relic each with multiple forms and eventually become strong. They usually come with fancy glow effects to look visually nice to look at beyond the weapon shape, mostly intended for glamour. Glamour. Transmog for you World of Warcraft players. The act of making your gear look like something else, or playing fashion with the gear you wear. There are specific rules to what you can use as glamour and win, but you can make your character look fancy instead of having to wear ugly, mismatched gear. WD, Weapon Damage. Main Stat. The singular most important stat that a job uses to determine attack. Every job only uses one main stat, in addition to vitality for HP or health points. STR, Strength. DEX, Dexterity. MND, Mind. INT, Intelligence. VIT, Vitality. Substat. All other stats not in the main stat category. Secondary and typically less important than main stat, but still important. Crit. Critical hit. This stat increases the power of a critical hit and how often they occur. When talking about damage variants, we pinned a crit as a 40% damage increase. With more crit stat, the power boost will be stronger. This also increases the power of direct hit crits. Debt. Determination. This stat increases our base damage and healing power. DH. Direct hit. This stat increases chance to cause a direct hit. Always a 25% increase in power. SS, SKS, SPS. Skill speed or spell speed. While some jobs use both weapon skills and spells, no jobs currently actively use both skill and spell speed as a stat. As a result, SS in itself works as a catch-all term. Skill speed will lower the recast timer for weapon skill GCDs and slightly increases the power of dots and auto attacks. Spell speed will lower the recast time for spell GCDs and slightly increases the power of dots and hots. 10. Tenacity. Only usable by tank classes and jobs. This is a catch-all stat, increasing both offense and defense and how much heals heal you for. Sounds amazing in itself, but the increases are very small compared to other stats. Pi. Piety. Only usable by healers. Increases MP regeneration. MP is mana points. Min max. Optimizing stats, rotations, party makeup, or other such things to get the highest performance possible. Managing even the minimum levels of performance for maximum gains. Eye level. Item level. Gear score in WoW. The general power level of an item, separate from level requirements to wear the gear pieces. Debuffs. Final Fantasy as a series has a unique set of debuffs that often confuse players from their names. There are many other debuffs even when excluding fight specific debuffs, but these are the ones people tend to have issues with. Slow. Reduces attack speed, not movement speed. Heavy. Reduces movement speed, not attack speed. Bind. Prevents a target from moving for the duration of the effect. Afflicted targets can still attack things in front of them or use items. 
any attack executed on the target after being bound will free them from the debuff early. Sleep prevents a target from doing all actions for the duration of the effect. Any attack executed on the target after being put to sleep will wake them up. Stun, similar to sleep, will stop a target's every action but for a very short time, often used to stop a target's attack. Interrupt, prevent an enemy from executing a skill in the middle of casting. Only certain skills can be interrupted. The cast bar of the attack will repeatedly pulse if you can interrupt it. Note, enemies may be immune to one or more of these. Interrupt will always work, as each individual skill is determined to be interruptible or not. Materia, special stones that add substats to gear. Melding, the act of putting materia into gear. Overmelding, also called Advanced melding, putting more materia into gear than it has slots. A gear piece can have two slots, but carry more materia than that. There is a chance of failure, and not all gear can be overmelded. Pentameld, penta as in five. All gear with advanced meld properties can hold an absolute maximum of five materia. Pentamelding, as a result, is the arduous process of getting all five materia into a gear piece. Guild. Class halls, where you initially learn your classes. Only two jobs have actual guild halls, the rest do not. FC. Free Company. What is known as a guild in other MMOs. Groups of players under a common banner and can chat together. Specific uses of an FC can differ from FC to FC. GC, Grand Company, the standing armies of the main city-states. You will choose one in the main story quests. The Maelstrom, the Twin Adders, or the correct choice, the Immortal Flames. Data Center, a cluster of worlds that are connected for game features. World, where your character resides when in the overworld. You cannot see players on other worlds, even though you are able to play with them. You may, however, visit other worlds within your data center at will. LS, Link Shell. CWLS, Cross World Link Shell. Special chat channels players can join, the creator of the LS deciding the use of the channel. Players from other worlds cannot join a Link Shell which led to the creation of cross-world link shells, where players from all worlds within a data center can join. NN Novice Network A special chat channel for novices, returners, and mentors to chat and offer each other help. Novice Any player with less than 168 hours of playtime, or not in the current expansion, Shadowbringers. The definition changes from expansion to expansion, in Endwalker, we may merely just replace Shadowbringers with Endwalker, but potentially they will increase the playtime requirement as well. Novices are denoted by a little leaf icon, often called Sprouts. Returner Any player who stops playing the game for 45 days and accepts the Returner's bounty when prompted on their return, lasts for 72 hours of playtime, denoted by a flower icon. Mentor. Players who volunteer to teach novices and returners the ropes. There are requirements to become a mentor that increase with every expansion. Denoted by crown icons. Dungeon. Casual four-player duties broken up into sections of trash mobs and boss arenas. Come in normal and hard varieties. Hard just means the same dungeon's location but different layout and enemies, not a difficulty. Often, hard is easier. Further, two dungeons are eight players, but only those two. Trial. Singular boss fights with little exception. They come in three varieties. Normal, which is a four-player fight, of which only three trials in the game are like this. Hard, which is an eight-player fight. They later dropped the hard notation in trial names. 
and extreme, an 8 player fight that is very tough. Raids come in two varieties, 8 player and 24 player. 8 player raids are short trash mob sections into the boss fight, or just a boss fight. They come in the normal difficulty and savage difficulty. 24 player raids are large scale dungeons with trash mob encounters and boss encounters. Trash mob encounters are often more dangerous than a typical dungeon trash encounter. Come in only one difficulty. Trial Notation Trials are often just called by name of the trial or the enemy within the trial. Extreme versions are one or a few letters followed by EX. For example, Leviathan Extreme is LEX. Raid Notation 8 and 24 mans. 24 mans are either abbreviations using the first letter of each word or just a single word within the raid name. VA, Void Arc, or Factory for the copied factory. 8 man raid series are boiled down to letter, fight number, and then S if it is savage. T, Turns of the Coil of Bahamut. A, Alexander. V, versions of the arena created by Omega. Some people use O for Omega. E, Eden. P, likely used for Pandemonium in Endwalker. Example, A6S is Alexander Fight 6 Savage. Note, coils are Savage difficulty as a base, even without using the S. Second Coil Savage is considered Savage Plus. LT, ET, ST. Local time, Eorzean time, and server time. Different clock timings. Click the clock UI element to change the currently displayed time. UI, user interface. HUD, heads up display. The way you have UI elements like your chat boxes set on the screen. DF, duty finder. The way you will access almost all duties in the game. This will randomly match you with players to do duties with if queuing with less than the minimum required group. PF, Party Finder. A place to recruit for specific duties, usually the harder ones. This way you go in with a pre-made group and not completely random players. Light Party. Half of a full party, or more, which is four players, gives you access to one bar of Limit Break and two bars on final bosses and in Trials. Full party, as it says, a full party of eight players, gives access to two bars of LB, three in boss fights. Pug, pick up group, a group of random players gotten via duty finder or a party finder to attempt a duty with. Static, a consistent group of players you meet with to do duties with, often with a set schedule so all players can make it online. Prog, Short for progression, DF can allow you to join duties in prog when the setting is turned on. More commonly used to refer to raid progression, where a team will slowly progress through a fight with repeated wipes. Sync. Syncing refers to level and gear being lowered or boosted to the level of the content. For example, when doing a level 50 dungeon as a level 80, your level 80 gear will automatically be lowered to the power of level 50 gear for the duration of the duty, as well as your level being reduced to 50. Unsync, disable syncing, allowing you to enter duties in an overpowered state far beyond intended and with less than the required number of players. RMT, real money trading, using real money to obtain in-game currency or items from a third party source illegal, and a quick way to get you banned. GM, Game Masters, the people who will be handing out your bans. Gil, the game's main currency. MGP, Mandeville Gold Saucer Points, currency unique to the Gold Saucer, a special side area with lots of minigames. Tomestones, 
Allegan tombstones are used for endgame gear and items. It most often is used for some of the best gear you can obtain at any level cap, in relics, and for endgame crafting. MB, Market Board, where you can buy stuff from other players using Gil. Retainer, this game's bank, unlocked through the story. This is how you also place items on the market. Fate. Special battle events in the overworld with one of a variety of targets. Appear based on timers and activity within the zone. Gate. Mini events in the gold saucer that occur every 20 minutes. POTD. Palace of the Dead. A deep dungeon. Deep dungeons are sets of 10 randomly generated floors ending in a boss fight. Filled with deadly traps, unique buffs, and no set party composition. HOH, Heaven on High, the second deep dungeon with several unique elements. Anidhogs, Wesk Alber, aka me. And thus concludes my take on a dictionary for Final Fantasy XIV. There are still many more terms to learn, and more will be added with every expansion. There's always more to learn within an MMO. But hopefully this lengthy two-parter of a dictionary has given you a good start. And may the power of Anna Nidhogsley waste to your enemies. And an extra special thanks to all my patrons over on Patreon. And extra extra special thanks to Aryadeva, Eamon al -Khatib, Benjamin Hahn, Body Clock, Ethan, Ethan Olson, Kevin Lowe, Kyle Steinhauser, Lise, Mizella, Scott Stanley, and Valor LLC. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.